Hi sir. Are you a knitter? I hesitate to call myself a knitter, although I do know how to knit. But until recently, I guess the most fancy thing in my mind that I could do was rib stitches. Is that even what you call it? Rib stitches? Ribbing? Whatever. For the past few years I've had on my sort of wish list or goals list for the year to become better at knitting. But I was never really sort of clear what exactly it was I wanted to get better at. Except that I would like to just generally be better at it. I did it so infrequently that every time I did work on some kind of simple knitting project, I would have to look up how to cast off the project. And what do you do if you lose a stitch or do something wrong? How do you knit backwards or I mean, I have no idea. So those are things that I want to get better at or just get to know how to do them. But I also really wanted to know how to do cables and as you can see, I knitted this so I do know how to do cables now, which I'm very happy about. For the past few months I've been sort of working towards the week between Christmas and New Year to be mostly free of other stuff so that I could teach myself how to do cables, which I did. I did a few attempts which didn't turn out very good and I'm fully expecting whatever it is that I want to learn about knitting that I'm going to have to unravel things many times and that's fine. It's annoying but it's fine. So here are a couple of swatches of cables that I've knitted to remind myself of what I've learnt and I made some notes and I think I might turn whichever little swatches I make into a little textile book so that'll be fun so even if at the end of this year I haven't got a lot more to show for at least I'll have a bunch of swatches so now I feel like I've sort of I know how to do the cables now the next thing I'm working on although I've not had a lot of time to do it is and I don't know if this is at all properly visible here to do traveling stitches I haven't quite sort of wrap my head around how it works just yet but it's fine I'm not in a wash I don't know why I'm so interested in knitting I've got plenty of other crafts to keep me busy maybe it's because my grandmother who I don't think she ever made a craft that she couldn't master. Well, she was obviously very good at knitting. Maybe it's because of her, I don't know. But now I'm working on this goal. 
and I have sort of a list in mind of things I want to learn this year and I plan on spending a month learning so for example cables and then in February I'll work on something else so I've actually learned the cables from a class on a website called Creative Bug and it's taught by a woman called Debbie Stoller. I'll link to that in the description if you want to check. I've actually got one of her books about knitting. And I've never really used it but I guess it will come in handy now and it's funny I've actually all that I've never felt like I was anything like a confident knitter I've actually accumulated lots of knitting stuff like I've got some double pointed needles not sure what to do with them. Won't the yarn come off the ends? I have no idea. And I've got loads of stitch markers. These were just the ones I could find. I do know that you can use these for knitting socks. Which I may attempt this year maybe so to maybe get myself to do that I have bought this cotton sock yarn although I was just checking which needle size you need and these ones are actually too small but I guess I can always try it on these ones and then get a larger size needle if I need to but this yarn is really pretty lots of happy colors I think I would like to wear this as socks so I'm really really pleased that I have mastered how to do the cables maybe there are more sort of intricate ways of doing cables but for now I'm very happy with these basic ones I mean it looks very fancy to me so because I thought this was going really well I made this at first it was just the cables here as a head pen because it, it's the winter and when I walk bleak especially in the mornings it can be quite cold but it's not really wide enough so I've added this ribbing to it I'm not sure how it's gonna look but at least it will be a bit wider and I'll be a bit warmer and it's dark in the morning so no one's going to see it anyway <laughs> but I'm really pleased with this I actually knit some cables and I didn't mess up so I'm really chuffed another thing I definitely want to do this year is some colour work and this is one I did last year an attempt at colour work and it's not super great there's some sort of pulling of the stitches because I very uncertain about how to do the 
changing between colours. And I've got one of these, I don't know if you're familiar with it. But it's a thing where you can loop two colours of yarn onto it and it sits on your finger and then, I don't know, does it go that way or that way maybe? I clearly have no idea. I did try it, but I think it requires further investigation. And I, I actually watched a, a YouTube video the other day where someone was showing how they were doing. It wasn't a tutorial, just they were showing how they were doing colour work. And they were doing it without something like this. So I may have to look into it. It might be easier for me to just drop the yarn in between. I don't know. One reason that I really want to learn how to do colour work is that obviously it look, it's nice that you can use more than one colour at a time. It's because I want to do what in Danish is called hønsestrik, which means chicken knit. And you can look up the story behind why it's called that. But this book is written by a Swedish knitter, Swedish author. And in Swedish it's also called hønsestrik. And it's kind of like fair aisle knitting, but just completely mad, all kinds of colours and all kinds of fun patterns in the knitting. And this is just the sort of thing that really appeals to me. I mean, anything that has lots of colours that is just so much fun. I'm not sure that I would be knitting shorts, but you get the idea. And just look at these mittens. They are just so much fun. And I just love to do this sort of thing. So maybe at some point later this year, I'll be able to do some Hönsestrik. I think that would be a lot of fun. With lots of colours. Just look at this scarf here. And it's just so cool. So I hope you're not disappointed This video is not going to tell you how to get better at knitting because I have no idea how to get better at knitting apart from one thing you have to do it you have to actually knit to come become better at it and clearly the past few years where get better at knitting has been on my wish list because I've not done any knitting well guess what I have not become better at knitting but I hope that by actually making some time for it every month maybe not every every week but if I can at least dedicate let's say a weekend every month to some kind of knitting and not just knit and purl because those are the ones I can do all those posts 
all knitting is based on knit and purl, but you get what I mean, right? And I don't know if if the colour work will be the, the next technique I try. Maybe, because I'm really excited to learn it, so that might help me. When you're excited about th something, usually it's easier to work on it. But for now, I'm just really, really happy about the cables. They weren't as difficult as I thought they were going to be. And although it was a little bit scary at first, because the way that Debbie Stolwell does the cables in that class on Creative Pub, she doesn't use a... I forget what it's called. You know, the extra little needle that you can slip the stitches onto. Anyway. She doesn't do that, so at one point, as you're swapping the stitches around, the stitches are just sort of sitting there, unattached to anything. So I'm always really worried that I'm going like, to accidentally drop them or pull at them or something. But it's been fine so far. And it's actually been very sort of, I don't know, mindful maybe? I have to really sort of focus and concentrate when I'm working on it. So that's been kind of nice actually. So is knitting something you want to get better at? I think I'll probably share some videos as I go along if nothing else, for my own sort of accountability. And also, if I say that I'm going to share some videos, then I'm going to have to do some knitting so that I have something to put in those videos. So, now that I've said it, I have to do it. I can't just not do it. So, we'll see. Maybe next time I'll have uh, done some colour work. If you are a knitter, I would love some suggestions. Maybe some videos or books or something. Especially maybe for the colour work. And... Maybe in particular where you don't use a thing like this. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's easier with or without. Anyway, that's enough rambling about knitting for me. I hope you have a great day. Happy stitching or happy knitting. <laughs>